Okay. So, I will say, because I've had, I've had essentially three, three, fuck, okay, I've had essentially three different reviews for this movie, or three different ways I feel about this movie. One was that I was like, okay, they should have got someone else other than Taika Waititi to do this specific film. Because I was like, well, there's way too many jokes. Bro. Oh, no way. Look, just get off the stream real quick, bro. But look, So I was like, yeah, there's just there's just way too many jokes in this movie. Move your mic. I'm only hearing you in my left ear like you're trying to whisper. That's not... That's not a me thing. What? Everybody only hears me in their left ear? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Did that happen... Just now? <laughs> like, has it been happening all stream or did it just start happening? It's been happening? Oh my god, bro, hold up. Okay. But look. I'll fix the fucking... I'll fix the left ear bullshit fucking tomorrow or something. I'll stream again. But look. Cause I, cause I, it's probably something to do with my audio interface. And that shit is like over there. Bro, look, bro. If the audio is ass, bro fucking deal with it bro like i can't i can't do anything about it right now so it's cool we're chilling we're chilling apparently it's been like this all stream so look it's chilling look so i had i had about thor love and thunder i had essentially three different ways i felt about the film so while i was watching it i was thinking first impressions anyway i was thinking they should have got someone else other than taika with td to do this film because taika put way too many jokes in it like you could tell that fucking movie was all fucking taika bro like that shit was all taika watiti like obviously uh, it was all supervised by um kevin feige so it could be consistent with the rest of the mcu or whatever but but um i mean it just like i didn't I wasn't really fucking with the way he wrote so many jokes, right? Like they were funny. I fucked with I fucked with I fucked with a lot of the jokes, but not here, bro. Like I wanted I wanted this movie to be hella hella serious, bro. Because it kind of gets it, it's weird when you get you take Thor through this arc where he's like down and shit, and even when Thor is down, he's like the funny comic relief character. Right, because they turned him into that in like Ragnarok or whatever, which I'm fine with. I'm I'm perfectly fine with. That. I don't think he always has to be like Chad Thorman, so I'm fine with it. Then and then he comes to, uh, he comes into this movie. He gets his body back, his himself back or whatever, but he doesn't he doesn't really change at all. Like he still he still acts almost the exact same. So it's like, why take him through all of that? if he's just going to be the exact same nigga afterwards he's still the comic relief character both when he's up and when he's down so i'm not fucking with that and then uh, i'm glad this nigga mentioned infinity war and then in infinity war thor's also not the same because he was like comic relief in ragnarok then in infinity war he was comic relief and he was serious and like heat and then bring him back down in endgame and then i don't know I didn't I didn't like the pure Taika Waititi vision for this film. So that w- that was like my first criticism or whatever. So then the second way I felt about the films, I was like, oh, I actually really like this. And it's mainly because of the ending. I really like the ending because the ending gets me excited for Thor 5. So it's like, oh, Thor's got a daughter now. His daughter fucking wields Stormbreaker. Um, I don't know how implied it is that she can pick up Mjolnir, but Thor's like, where did I put my hammer? And she's like, oh, it's down there. 
in the little basket and she had Drew on it. So I don't know. Maybe she could pick up Mjolnir. Um, and then they, yeah, and then they introduce Hercules. So, you know, I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of like, you know, I want to see. I want to see where they take this. I want to see what happens next. But I don't know. I mean, again, I I don't know what would happen next. Hercule, <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. I don't know what will happen next. I hope it's good though. Like, do I want to see Thor before Thor five? No. No, I don't. I don't want to see Thor before Thor five. Just being completely honest, like I, I before Thor five, can no. But at least we're getting Thor five, and then and then maybe maybe we'll get Thor six. Because this is kind of like a new era, right? So like, you know, it's cool. Maybe see his arc in Guardians three. Nah. I want to say I would I like this film more than Ragnarok but I want to rewatch Ragnarok before I say that I'm tripping I mean hey bro maybe I am maybe I am I'm gonna rewatch Ragnarok and see I'm not tripping. Okay. Ragnarok is one of the best MTU films. Hell no. Well, I mean, it depends on what you mean by one of the best, because there's so many of those movies. So. Are you watch Ragnarok? I don't want to rewatch Ragnarok until Thor 4 is on Disney Plus, because then I can rewatch both of them, because that's really the only reason I want to. I mean, actually, fuck, I'm going to have to rewatch it anyway, because... I have to uh, I have to do this Wanda versus Thor video. Ant Man one or two are underrated. Nah. Ant Man is definitely not underrated. If anything, it's overrated. I think whenever I see, whenever I see someone put fucking um. ant-man like top 15 mcu movies i'm just like ew those movies are not good any versus battles wins disagree with on swag or seth you talking about anything me swag and seth disagree agree on i'm pretty sure we disagree on a lot of stuff like a lot of the times before we do a video there'll be like an hour or so of us um talking about the winner and how we like uh how we meld all of our opinions mm. how does anime take i don't fucking know i have bro i have so many takes that i say and niggas are just like bro you're fucking tripping i don't know one of my like casual takes is probably a hot ass take Any advice getting into YouTube without a PC? I have no idea. See MC Hammer's new video. No, I haven't seen MC Hammer's new video. I don't, I don't, I don't watch MC Hammer's videos. Um, but appreciate the seven, ten. Hante, but Minato isn't as fast as Seth thinks he is. He doesn't have any beefies that don't involve flying raging. Cool. Thanks for the ten. Uh, 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 uh. I think would have won the final valley. Sasuke without the curse mark or Naruto without the die tails. What? Oh, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it. Bro, so at first, Jaden, I was like, this question's fucking retarded. Because I thought you were asking me if they both had their normal shit, but then you just took away the shit from the other one. Or if one of them had their normal shit, you just took away, like, no curse mark Sasuke versus full nine tails Naruto. Like, what the fuck is wrong with this nigga? But Sasuke would have destroyed him. Nar thoughts on Naruto explaining Seth the bait? I mean, Seth just beat his ass badly. <laughs> Like, Seth fucked that nigga up, bro. <laughs> Seth beat the fuck out his ass. That, bro, I remember listening to that um, a long-ass time ago. I thought I was, I was doing some schoolwork or some shit. Because it was way before I even met Seth. But, bro, 
That shit was funny. He beat the fuck out that nigga. You excited for Fortnite Dragon Ball? Yeah. Yes, sir. What debate? Seth, when he debated this guy, Naruto explained he's another YouTuber. He like put out he put out a tier list, and Seth debated him on the tier list. <laughs> 